Hello friends, now we are going to start my new video which is on the convex lens and this time we are continuing up after my last video which is on lenses and its types. So now we have learned what are lenses and its types. So now we learn about convex lenses particularly in this video and I am going to tell you about its types and its uh, how to works basically. So basically, again basically, we can say that a convex lens looks like uh, this. So it is uh, that at least one surface of the lens is like the outer A surface of a sphere. So you can say this, this whole surface looks like the outer surface of a sphere. You can imagine that. Moving on, we learn about its types. So now we are going to learn the types of convex lenses. Uh, just don't mind my writing, it is not the best on the board. So, in the first thing about the convex lenses, you will think that there are only one type of convex lens, which is uh, this. It's not that good, it's almost that good. Yes, so you will think that convex lenses are of this only. Till 8th uh, class or 7th class, you, you will learn like this only. But this is not the thing that it ends. There is much more. And uh, by this, we have its name. Its name is a double convex lens. So, double convex lens, by its meaning only, name, uh, if I divide it into half, you can see one side is convex, this side. And the other side is also convex. So you can see that there are two convex lenses uh, just beside each other, making one lens. So that's why it is called a double convex lens. So after this, you will say there is nothing more. There is. If we just uh, do one side uh, convex and the other side plain, then what will it make? It will make a So, as its name suggests, plano convex lens. So, plano, uh, we can say plane. A plane convex lens uh, means uh, that this, this surface is plane and straight. It's straightforward. So, it is the plan, a plane surface. And uh, this surface is convex, as we all, uh, have learned earlier. So, this is called a plano convex lens. It can either be on this side or even on this side we can uh, make a convex lens this side and this side can be plane too making it plano again so now we learn the third part so basically this is a plane and a convex now you will say if we can make hybrid lenses what will happen if we mix convex and concave so let's that. So in a, uh, we can say I am first round. It. it looks like this. So this is a uh, concavo convex lens. So now uh, we can say that concavo convex lens is just a hybrid of convex and concave. But in this you can say concavo convex. Why not convex and concave? So that is just the opposite of this and we learn it in the concave video. But in this video we are learning concavo convex because concavo here means the, this side. Basically we start with this side and then the second name is the that side. So 
we can see that this side is concave you can see it is like a cave and this side is convex and it follows the properties of a convex mirror which means that it is wider at the uh, center and thinnest at its ends these all mirrors uh, lenses follow this property so the difference between a convex or concave and a concave or convex is that in the concave or convex the mirror part is wider and the ends are the thinnest and in the convex or concave which is i'm just drawing it for uh, less confusion it would be like this so in this I hope you can see because the light is not as enjoyed in this side of the room. You can see here that its ends are wider, its center is thinner and thinnest, and the other end is also wider. So this is considered as a concave lens. Because of this property only. So these are the basic lenses, basic types of lenses. You may even pause the video and uh, see the lenses. I will just figure out how to just uh, keep this camera. Flashback and a flashback. my board because that is written and just getting it in your mind is better always so now i'm fixing your camera again and we learn the how does a convex lens work so this is an, another part of the video i will just erase all this 12 seconds later so now we learn how does a convex lens work so, for instance, you just don't know what the convex lens does. I will now explain that. So, basically, we will draw the basic convex lens. We are not getting in detail that uh, the plan of convex, the concave of convex. We are not going to discuss about them. that. I will probably make a, a later video explaining these other types of. Just for now, we are learning the basics. So, for the basics, we have this lens and at the center, we have a plane. We can just draw a center line like this. So this is the center line on a lens. And uh, suppose there is a light ray. I will take only one or two rays to make it easier to understand. Light ray which is parallel to this line, to the center. Like this. Like this. Yes. So when it enters the lens, it is straight. But when it that's the center and this moves on it will bend towards inwards meeting at a point called uh, focus so this point is the focus and I will just uh, make one more this is also parallel to this and this line will too meet at this focus and what do you think what will happen after light never stops I mean if there is something to stop it and uh, here in this case there is nothing to stop it so it will move further and I am making this F uh, making this point F for shorter space so this light ray will move on and go so you are seeing here that the light ray is coming like this towards the most part of the uh, lens. The light is coming from here to here and it is converging. It is called a converging point. It is converging towards this point called the focus and that's why because of this property only a convex lens is called a converging lens and so when the light converges uh, it moves straight. It, it 
this does not uh, uh, get stopped it just moves straight on and you can see that if lights move straight on here uh, we can see that this ray is going there so it will go up and this is going here and it will go up here so if i suppose there is uh, something here i mean like take this box like thing okay so it is like here like this when the light goes from here it will go below so this will form the above section here and this light which is going on the bottom will go above so it would have made a uh, something like uh, this if that image went from here to here but now you see but the image is not till here not this below line it is bit above it is near the center so now we are going to explain what happens if the light is at the center of the lens so when the light goes at the center of the lens nothing happens basically because the lens is is the light is moving straight and it is going straight just uh, i am just making a light ray on the center like this and it is just meeting at the focus again but the difference is that the above light has went below the center and you you can see that the base was on the center so this makes to see that this image is vertically inverting now so we can see that this went from above to below so this is the property of a convex lens and if uh, you, the same happens when it was below like there was an object like here like this was the object it would have gone here then here this straight was this line this line area would have gone upwards because of this light and would have become like this so it would have become this so that makes everything simple and the double is very irritating right now so i will tilt the camera again and now you can see so now can you understand uh, basically the center line is straight it nothing happens the line above and which is parallel goes here and then goes towards the focus and the same happens for the below just parallel it will go to the area and then go towards focus and now i'm going to just make this diagram a little bit clear to tell you one more property one eternity later so now we can see that uh, it is just a plane lens with a center now in uh, other case when a light ray is coming from this direction at a plane of this it meets at the center of this lens and not at the focus and nowhere else it is passing from the center the same will happen again it will go downwards and move straight on so nothing will happen basically same for the light going from here it will just pass away and making if uh, there is a stick man just standing here then the light ray from his head to his toe will make him look like a stick man which is upside down so can you understand now let me draw some arrows can you understand these are some rules that are the basics of a convex lens and i think that this completes all the things so we learned about the parts of the convex lens which can be the center or whatever it is like right? center this point this point is the center see 
and uh, in the other cases when there was a focus here that was called F or focus. So these are the two important points that we need to just learn to learn and understand a convex lens. So I hope you all understand what a convex lens is and how it works and uh, thank you for just making my previous video on lens very popular and I thought that uh, making more videos on lens as it is a very difficult topic to learn and I understood it easily so I am just helping you guys to understand it. Understand it. So hope you like the video and just uh, take a screenshot or if you like or just memorize it and I will recommend to memorize it as it is very easy. So thank you if, uh, you, if you like the video then give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. And if you have any questions in the uh, in your mind, you can ask it in the comments. Thank you. Bye bye.